everybody, Anne here, just sitting out on my porch, having my coffee with all of you. It's a beautiful, beautiful, sunny morning. In fact, I need to put the sunglasses on. So, yesterday, I went to Goodwill. And you know what? Isn't it funny how one trip to Goodwill can totally change your life? The first thing I want to show you that I got is this room divider. Now, this is the life-changing thing for me because it has gotten me to change so many different of my plans and simplify things. This was like, oh, 20 bucks maybe? And remember this little janky thing behind here? Just one of those cheapo uh, clothes rack thingies that I put the shower curtain over to cover up to kind of form a barrier between the room and the potty. Oh, that's another change. You guys, I took the shower out. I'll, I'll tell you about the shower in a little bit. But this room divider was in such good shape, I snatched, it was the first thing I saw. I snatched it up, I took it to the front and said, I want this. People kept going by it and wanting to buy it, but no, it belonged to me. So what I was going to do, and I'll show you a picture here in a second of the two things that I was going to put one this way and one this way and put a curtain in between. Um, here, let me show you the picture. This is a picture of the wardrobe that I had on my Amazon wish list. I was going to buy two of these. That's like 420 bucks to form that little, you know, area by the porta potty. And I no longer have to do that because I spent $20 at the Goodwill and it provides a beautiful, beautiful substitute for this and it's going to work out even better. It's tall enough and it's big enough to provide a little bit of privacy. And then once I finish the walls, I am just going to put a little curtain of some kind that will go from here to here um, just to kind of close this area off. And that is perfect. That's all I need. I don't need the big armoires. I was going to get an armoire and maybe a bookshelf or a bookshelf this way and an armoire this way. But I don't need to do that anymore because I've got this little screen divider and my mom's bringing me something that will kind of match with it too that will go in the kitchen. Hi, you already know about the bed. I haven't even made my bed yet, so um, Betty's there just kind of curled up and sleeping. <clears throat> I was going to buy those little totes to go underneath the bed for storage, but nope, I found these baskets. Now, there's two that, that won't fit underneath, but I'm going to, like this one over here is a picnic basket, actually, and it came with, sorry, you guys, a little silverware, which is cool because I can use it. That was $2.99. This is an old sewing basket, and it is just so gorgeous. It's in really good shape. Won't fit underneath the bed, but that's okay. I'll put it somewhere else. Um, has even has a little needle in the top of it. And then those two baskets there are going to be great just to store things in, um, just to kind of block the rest of it, because the other stuff behind it is going to be, I don't know, it might be unsightly, so I, I wanted to kind of hide that. And just get a few more baskets, that's going to go away and go somewhere else. Um, and as a matter of fact, this whole bed slash couch is going to be moved. Because um, if you notice, there's just a teeny bit of little, little bit of room there. And that's not enough room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to being over here. Right over here. And then I'm going to take this and put it in the corner over there and, um, you know, move the tables around and everything. And I think that that'll be great because eventually I want to put the wood-burning stove somewhere over in this area by this window. Um, and I will vent it to the outside through the wall and put the pipe going up this way. Um, that's my messy soul. I think you guys remember that. So that... One little find in Goodwill has totally changed what I was going to do. I was going to spend like $400, you know, $350, $400 on buying wood armors to kind of form a little wall to enclose my porta potty. But now I don't have to because I've got this. And I love, love the look of it. It is great. So that's that for that. What are we going to do next? This is my green pepper bucket and look we've got one two three four five six growing in there now and I plan to keep two 
in this bucket to let it grow. This is the tomato and basil bucket. Nothing interesting going on here. There's two tomatoes here. I don't know if that's tomato. That might just be grass and a couple tomatoes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep two tomatoes in the back and then the basil. There's more basil coming up and it's still really small, but I suspect it'll start growing up now. These all need to be watered. Nothing came up in this bucket, so that makes me think that I might not have even planted anything in it. So what I've got is, I love this eggplant. Um, basically, Japanese eggplant. Here, let me wash this off. It is the skinny kind, and I really love growing these. Uh, I've had really good success with them. So um, I actually got a pot with two in them. So I don't know if I'll plant them both in this pot or one in one and one in the other. I don't know if I'll be able to separate the roots well enough. It would be awesome to have two, two of these plants growing. So I'm going to give it a shot. Plant that today. These finally came up. These, these are all tomatoes. So I'll pick the strongest one and let it live. And I'll take the others and transplant them somewhere else maybe. And finally, red cubanelles. We've got a couple coming up here. One here, one in the middle, one there, and one there. In all of the spots that I planted it, the sweet red cubanelle peppers are going to be amazing. Here's the jalapeno bucket. Very good. One, two, three, four. I'm just waiting on one to come up in the middle. And uh, as I've said before, I will save one, and it will grow in this bucket. One of the red cubanelles will grow in this bucket. All right, let me get over there. We've got sweet banana peppers growing in here, and we've got them growing in one spot, two, three, four. I'm just looking for one more over here, and just one banana pepper will grow in here. I'll have to get more buckets and transplant the others. And look at all my little carrots. Awesome. I'm definitely going to have to thin those out, but yep, they're trying to come up. Okay, and look at this bed. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that just spectacular? These beans, one or two beans, bean plants have sprouted up in every single place that I planted them. I think every single one of those seeds that I planted are sprouting, have sprouted. So, um, yeah, in the spots where there are two, I may pull one out. Oh, that's a weed. Um, and transplant it somewhere else if I can without damaging the roots of the others. But these are just bush beans. So first time growing bush beans. So hopefully, hopefully that'll go well. And down the middle. Yep, all of those carrots. Look at all of those little baby carrots that are growing. Oh, I'm so excited. And my cucumbers. I think all of the cucumber seeds sprouted as well. Just look at all of them. There's a ton of them. I'm not going to be able to keep all of them growing in this one. So I'll have to thin them out and see if I can pull some of them out by the roots. Um, I think you can leave a couple in each spot. So I'll have to decide what I'm going to do with that because I want them all to grow nice and big. Look at that bed. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And then my lettuce and spinach. Nothing really interesting happening. The lettuce is starting to grow a little bit more. I've still got a little bit of lettuce that's trying to grow over here. So who knows, maybe it'll, maybe it'll live. Remember that? That's my little dill bed. And actually it's mammoth dill, so hopefully it'll be big dill. So what I did, I did go ahead and plant some more seeds over in this area. And I've compared them with all the other kind of sproutlings from the different weeds, and they don't look anything like it. So I'm pretty sure this is dill. I don't know if you guys noticed the picture in that one video, but I have Brussels sprouts coming up in every single spot. So yes, those will have to be thinned, but the real excitement is these are sprouting watermelon. Watermelon sprouting, sprouting there. It's sprouting there, it's sprouting there, and there, and check this out. This is, what is that, butternut squash? I got one there. 
there's one just now trying to peek its head out. And there's three more there. Definitely going to have to thin them out, but they are all, all coming up in these beds, you guys. Over here is the zucchini. We got one coming out there. I don't see one coming up, but, oh, yes, I do. It's underneath there. I'm not going to move the soil, but there is one coming up there, too. And we've got zucchini coming up there. And like I said, there are Brussels sprouts coming up in every single spot. <sighs> My goodness. And check this out. Spaghetti swash. We got it there. We got it there. And we got it there. Now, the soil I like to use is sold out. So I'm just going to hang tight a little bit on finishing these other two beds. And what I might use the two beds for is just to transplant some of my other stuff that is already growing so I can have more, more vegetables. Since this video has already gotten long enough, I am just going to spend the rest of the day rearranging the stuff in the cabin. Also, something came in from FedEx today on a Sunday that I ordered myself. And so I'm going to try and get that put together and put somewhere, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but, and then cook something on the rocket stove. Oh, 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 I forgot to tell you, I've upgraded the rocket stove. So I will share that with you all the next time. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.